everyone and welcome back to what will be the end of What Remains of Edith Finch. This has been a very long and mysterious game filled with really strange stuff but I have liked it so far and you know I'm really excited to see the end and I hope that you guys are excited to see the end as well. And uh, with that being said, let's carry on and end this game. <laughs> On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. Why? But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. I mean, in that sheer panic, I probably would have too. She probably thought that any kind of anything brought from that how from the house is probably like Why bad juju coming for a long time maybe it should have come sooner Wait, what but it had oh. to end one way or another all that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Oh, the last night. We might be at the end here, guys. Wait, what? Am I just crouching or did I become really small? day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night oh. together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific- I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, but you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. What? <laughs> ah. Ah. Okay. So, okay, so now we're a kid. We're having a flashback. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. Yeah, because that's not creepy at all. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Um. Where am, where am I going right now? I can't really see. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best 
if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Oh. Okay. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. What? That night, the tide went way, way out. Okay. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Ugh. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh. I feel uncomfortable. I don't like this. I got turned around. But I just... For a while, I wondered. What? I started seeing things. Uh. Making my eyes things bug I'd out. Forgotten had ever existed. Make my eyes bug out because I'm like trying to see what's going on and it's so foggy. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. Huh? Huh? That night, a lot of things came back to me. What is all this? Is this all the, all the furniture and stuff from their well, old maybe house? I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and. Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine, Edith. Mom, you're gonna rip it. Let go. Uh. I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. Okay. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Oh. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Uh. After Where that, we moved around a lot. Where did she go? We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Oh. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive.
until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Um. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. Uh. But I guess if you're reading this now. Things didn't work out that way. What? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I Wait, want you what? to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. What? She died in childbirth? Is that what happened? What just happened? Excuse me? Uh. Wow. Okay, not what I expected. And so the credits is just all the, uh, the characters, or the creators here, I guess. But, um, yeah, that was interesting. That was What Remains of Edith Finch. And What Remains is her son. I, I guess because she didn't live to see him grow up I guess okay this was a very interesting game um there were a couple of times where I thought it was a little boring um and then it picked back up again but very interesting story. Um, the ending definitely caught me off guard. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say except it's a strange game. <laughs> um, but I liked it though. As much as I hate that ending, I do like it. And I hope you guys did too. But that's the end. So... Hope you all have enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to leave a like because that would be awesome. And subscribe for more if you like things like this and other game content. And I will see you guys in the next one. This puppet will have to play her part.